Welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tarisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about Spring Framework. We'll also use Maven in this and we'll try to configure a Spring application with the help of annotations. So after, uh, after watching this video you will understand what is Spring Framework, you'll understand uh, how to use Maven to create a Spring application and you can configure a Spring application with the help of annotations. Now, in fact, I have already created some videos for Spring Framework using XML configuration. So in this video, we'll talk about annotations, more, more focused on annotations. Okay, so uh, we normally achieve uh, dependency, which is Spring, de uh, the dependency injection with the help of Spring Framework, right? So uh, what I will suggest is if you want to know about the basic concept of Spring, uh, you, can, you can go to the playlist of Spring Framework, just uh, there are some uh, three to four videos, you'll understand what is Spring Framework, how to implement Spring Framework. This video is specifically for annotations. Okay, so you will find the link in the description area of the Spring Framework. Uh, okay, so let me create a new project. Uh, we'll be creating a Maven project because we want, we don't want to download all the required libraries, right? We can ask Maven to give you that for you. So we'll say uh, Maven project. Now since we are going for simple Spring application, we'll go for a quick start, which is a Maven archetype. Uh, you can go for Spring Web for web application. You can go for uh, Quick Start for Koja application. I will name it com telescope And the artifact I will give is Spring Annotation. So we'll say Spring Anno. Okay, that's the project name. So you can see we got our project where it is, it is here. And if I expand this, we have, okay, so we have this POM file. Now, since we want to work with Spring Framework, we need to add those Spring dependencies here. Right, so what we'll do is we'll for Spring dependencies just have to go to Google and search for Maven repository because you will get all your libraries from here. Okay, and here you can search for Spring code. That's what or we'll search, we search for Spring context. So we need to get this Spring context here. We can just take the latest version, which is four point, or we'll take one point four point one point nine. It is always better to have a one lower version because it will be stable for sure. Let me copy this. If I go back to the Maven, paste it here. You can see it is downloading the jar files. If I go to Maven, we got all the required jar files. So uh, it will download everything from the uh, internet. If you have already done this earlier, so it will be having a local repository, which is .m2 folder in your documents. So you can just go to your home path, search for .m2 folder. You'll be having all these jar files there. Okay, that's the advantage of using Maven here. Okay, so once we got this, let's start with the actual work. So what we need here is we have a class and we'll, I will name this class as Samsung S7. So I want, oh, why, why to mention S7, we'll just we'll simply say Samsung. So we have a phone which is Samsung here. And in this Samsung class, we have a method, we'll name that method as public void uh, config. So that's the method name, which is config here and uh, in this config, I will simply print what I will print. Oh, this is Eclipse. So we have to say S out. And in this, we'll print the configuration of this phone. We can say this is octa core, uh, comma, this is 4 GB RAM. So I'm talking about uh, Samsung S7 to be specific. We have 12 megapixel camera. Okay, so that's camera. Right, so we have this uh, Samsung class here and what I want to do now is I want to create this I want to create this uh, I want to call this config method so in order to call this config method is uh, for that we require a main function right so we'll go for a main function here okay so I have a, a, my main function inside this app so app is a class inside this I need to call that Samsung right so in order to call Samsung we can simply say Samsung uh, we can say this is s7 equal to new Samsung S7, uh, sorry, Samsung. And at the end, we can say S7 dot config, right? And if you run, run this application, we'll be getting the output as uh, the, the configuration, right? But the problem is we don't want to go, go for this because this is not dependency injection, right? What we want to achieve, so using Spring, you should be able to inject this object. So in order to inject this object, we can ask our factory, which is application context, to give you the object of Samsung. For that, we need to create object of application context. We can say this is factory. 
equal to so in order to create object of application context we have to create we have to use a class which is annotation config uh, in fact if you remember in xml we use uh, class path xml and this we have to use annotation config application context in which you have to pass okay for first we need the object of factory and then uh, here we can specify factory dot get bean you need to specify two things the first thing uh, you need to specify the class name of which you want the object we can say i want the object of samsung dot class okay and we need to also yeah that, that's done so we need to specify that we want the object of samsung dot class right and if you run this application now so what we are doing we're asking factory to give you the object and if i run this code okay it's something is happening we got oh we got an error here it says illegal state exception is because okay we have not mentioned the configuration file here so when you go for xml you mention the xml name right which is spring.xml in which you have to specify uh, something like this you have to uh, specify that or not this one you have to specify instead of snapdragon you have to specify samsung and instead of cpu we have to say we want a phone so when you say we want a phone you will get a samsung right so this is what we do in uh, when you work with xml type of configuration now we are not going for xml type of configuration we are going for annotation based configuration so in order to use annotation based configuration what we need is we have to create a class who will who is responsible for this so i will create a class who will provide me the configuration since we are working with annotation so we'll create a class and we'll name this class as app config uh, we can give any, any name doesn't matter and since this class is a configuration class or this class is responsible for the configuration we have to use an annotation which is at configuration so as soon as you specify at configuration now this file this class is responsible to create to give you those objects so in xml what we do we specify this stuff right so in uh, inside your xml or inside your annotation what we can do is uh, we can create a method and will this method will return you the object of samsung which is samsung and we'll name this as get phone so method name is get phone okay and uh, we can simply say return new samsung sounds good right so now as soon as you run this code now it will try to fetch the object from here let's try let's see what's happening oh we need to specify this stuff here also right we have to specify this is app config dot class so we need to specify uh, which con which configuration class you're working with so this factory need to know about the class you're working with okay let's go back to the app config and everything seems good and if i run this code again if i go here we got another error now which is no such bin definition found so we got the class so there is no error now of class but it is not able to find the bin type of samsung the problem is inside your methods you have to specify that this method is, is a bin it will, it will return you a bin so that's the annotation we have to use in order to create uh, that dependency thing work and if i run this code now can you see that we got the output so you can see we are not using any xml file here everything is annotation based awesome right so this app config needs the object of or we, in this app config you have to specify at configuration which will specify that this is a configuration file and for every object so let's say uh, in xml we need one more object so like, uh, let's say i want an object of mobile uh, not a mobile so every every phone is depend upon the cpu right so let's say i have a bin here id will say this is cpu and we have a class who creates this cpu let's say I'm, I'm talking about snapdragon right so we can say this is snapdragon so we have a cpu of model snapdragon so now if i if i want the same thing if you want to achieve the same thing here we have to create another method we'll say get cpu or get snapdragon or anything it will return you the object of snapdragon and then you can, you can go on so let's try to implement that let's see how to implement that stuff here so what will what we we need here is uh, so you got the idea about uh, the uh, concept of dependency injection with the help of annotation right so what we'll do next is we'll try to create uh, another class uh, not the class but we will we want an interface here so what i will do i will create an interface we'll say this is 
interface and this is mobile uh, processor okay because every mobile every phone needs a processor right we click on finish so what this phone processor or this mobile processor will have is it will have a method with name we'll say this is method name is void process that that's the stuff it will do so we have a void process method and to implement this void uh, to implement this mobile processor we have one more class and we'll name that class as what we'll name this class as we have a class which is so the first class is snapdragon okay and something more so this snapdragon will implement our interface which is with the name of mobile processor right so this is the interface and when, when you click on finish you can see we got a method which is process but by default it is empty right so what i will do i will say sys out i will say world best cpu right so we have a mobile processor which is snapdragon and inside your samsung class so every phone needs a processor right so in this i will create the object of mobile processor i will say mobile processor and Okay. mobile processor I will say this is CPU right and for this we require getter and setter so I will just right click here I will say source getter setter because that's a variable right so we require getter setter for this we click on ok and let me remove this all extra tags which we don't require here okay removed okay so we got get CPU set CPU and when I print the configuration, I also want to print the process. So I will say CPU dot process. Sounds good. <coughs> so let, let me repeat what we are doing here. When I run this application now, it will call the config method of Samsung. And this Samsung method or this uh, the config method will call the process method, which is a part of mobile processor. Now the question arises, if I run this, will it work? Uh, and the answer is no, of course, right? Because we have not created the object or object for CPU, which is just the declaration, right? And we're trying to directly going, trying to access the object. Of course, it will give you an error. So if I go to this app and if I run this, so we are we were expecting the our, our error, right? Which is null point exception. Then how to provide that object? How to provide this uh, object for mobile CPU? Again, I will not use uh, new object, new keyword there. So what I will do is, uh, I will create the bean inside configuration for every object we need to create a bean annotation that's compulsory and we can specify a method name here we can say this is public it will return the object of mobile processor because that's what we want and we'll name this uh, we can name it anything we can say this is get uh, we can say this is get processor anyway that name doesn't matter and this will return now we need to provide the concrete implementation so we can say this is snapdragon so specifically we are saying it should return the object of snapdragon okay so now we have created that uh, mobile versus object also right but inside the samsung how will it, it will connect will it connect directly let's try if i run this code uh, we are still getting the error it's because we are not able to connect it so in order to connect these two two things in your samsung class we need to say this is at o, uh, at auto wired so what it will do it will search i need the object of cpu i will check in the app configuration we already have a method which returns mobile processor so it will check the type of the return type it will check the return type so this auto wired inside the annotation part comes as by default it is by type okay it will not check the name it will check the type and if i run this code or not this one if I run this app, boom, can you see that? We got the output as world best CPU. It's because you can see in Samsung, we have still not created the object. It is, it is done automatically. And that's the power of uh, this override annotation. Quite simple, right? So let me just repeat all this stuff here, which we have done. So we have created a class uh, with... Uh, yeah, so we have created a uh, we have created this app class in which you have a method which is uh, main in which you have application context object which is factory and using factory we are getting the object of Samsung which is get bean in bracket you can specify Samsung dot class and then we are saying s7 dot config right quite simple but the problem is uh, when you say get bean you have to provide those bean inside your app config so you have to specify this class here 
So this is your configuration class. We can have another con configuration class also. Let's say you have one more configuration class as my app config. So you can have two, three, four, you can have multiple configuration files. But when you work, whenever you're working with one configuration file, you have to mention that file here. Inside your app configuration, you are specifying two beans. One is the get phone and the second one is get processor. And then we have Samsung class, we have mobile processor and then we have Snapdragon, right? Uh, so it's, 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 it's that simple. But what if I say, you don't have to write these two things also. That means if I delete this, let, let me comment this part while you delete. So if I comment this part, it, sh it should still work. And if I run this code, uh, it's not working. You can see we got the errors. Then question arises, how to achieve that? Uh, is it possible to comment those parts or, or not even writing those parts so it should work? Mm, we'll see that. So what we'll do is we'll see that stuff in the next video, how to do that, all those stuff. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.